This is Jeremy. Jeremy looks like any other recruit here at the Marina Bay floating platform, marching smartly in front of thousands of family and friends. This is his basic military training passing out parade. Unlike most of the other soldiers you see here, Jeremy has lost over 24 kg to become the combat fit soldier that you see today. The next contingent of soldiers from BMDC Apache Company, led by their contingent. With his friends from Apache Company, they have come a long way. This is their story of fighting fat to become fighting fit soldiers. Their journey starts like any other Singaporean son. With a ferry ride to Pulau Tekong, where basic military training or BMT is conducted. Once there, things are a little different for them. These recruits have their weight and height taken to get their body mass index or BMI. This index is a measure of the human body shape. Recruits with a BMI from 27 to 40 will have to go through obese BMT. The obese program is uh, spread out into uh, 19 weeks, split out into two phases. Um, the first phase consists of uh, 10 weeks, whereby the first 10 weeks of the program is more of a uh, physical training uh, orientated. The second phase, which consists from the 11 weeks onwards, which the obese recruits will go under PMT syllabus, just as no different with the other batches of uh, recruits as well. My personal goals would be to lose weight, and to lead a healthy lifestyle. My goals are to lose weight, keep fit, so that I can look good and also get at least a silver for my IPPT. And my goals in, in BMT is to lose weight, eat healthily and look good. I hope to graduate uh, from BMTC School 1 Apache and going to Sergeant Course. Their journey to fitness now begins. The recruits start with cardio training to get gradually in shape. First three weeks, we do more of uh, cardio training, which involves aerobic conditioning and uh, aerobics. This training is actually designed uh, in a way whereby we can help to conserve the fitness for the recruit, and also it's more ideal that the training is less intensified to prevent any injury even before going towards the next phase of the course. I like basically the aerobics part because, uh, well, one part is uh, I'm able to dance and I'm able to lose weight. It was pretty fun. Uh, starting will be strenuous because of the conditioning at first, but now the music is good and the instructor is really fun also. Another special training they go through is aqua jogging. They jog in the pool with the float straps around their waists. Aqua jogging is actually a very good way to do away with the monotony of a training for them to, to actually cut loose. Swimming is also a, a recovery exercise and of course it reduces pressure and, and of course lastly it will prevent injury due to the impact that they offer on incur during the daily training. Aqua jogging is good. It helps to recover my muscle aches and it's a good experience. Besides exercising to lose weight and be healthy, the recruits must learn to eat right. The obese recruits go through a dietary wellness program where a nutritionist helps them improve their eating habits and choice of food. Our objective of this program is to teach recruits how to eat healthier and in order to do so, uh, we cover topics like healthy eating from a food guide pyramid, food portion sizes and how to choose healthy when eating out. Uh, we also try to make the workshop more interactive and interesting, so we include games and skits so that the recruits can actually demonstrate what they have learned. Uh, for the dietary wellness program, uh, it's interesting because we get to learn some of the things that we thought we shouldn't be doing, like uh, reducing carb uh, carbohydrates to zero totally. They told us what is the right way to eat and also what is the right way to keep fit and stuff and what is uh, our needed nutritional value for every day.
as their fitness level improves, the recruits move on to strength training, where they do specific exercises that help them improve in their individual physical proficiency test or IPPT. Like for example, pull up, right? Uh, we are actually doing eccentric, uh, all the uh, shoulder tuck and everything to train uh, basically uh, at the areas that we are supposed to like gain in our muscle. So far, right, I think uh, for my pull up, I came in uh, with only able to do two. Right now, I'm able to do three. Uh, uh, all the trainings that I've done for all the strength training, I uh, actually gain muscles in my bicep and tricep. So uh, I'm quite happy that I can do three. And another three more, I can like, pass my IPPT for the pull up. Uh. So what's important for these recruits for the next few months? I think the lifestyle is something that I always want to influence them. You know, they come for a lifestyle whereby they don't do PT on a daily basis, but to have them to change their lifestyle, to change from not doing to doing it on a daily basis, to even change their mentality to actually enjoy doing it. Hopefully the lighting program actually um, prove a point to them that actually if they want to instill a change in themselves, they can always do it. In the next episode, find out how the recruits cope with the demands of BMT. See them grow not only in strength and fitness, but also in character.